Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. Before we start the tutorial, a quick announcement. Based on the request from a lot of our subscribers, we are happy to announce a big discount on our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program lifetime subscription. This special discount is applicable during the lockdown period only. So please click on the link in the description box below the video and take advantage of this wonderful opportunity. In this video, you will learn a useful interactive PowerPoint animation trick. You will love this trick, especially when you are into creating any kind of teaching material to engage your students. The beautiful interactive PowerPoint animation trick you will learn to create today looks like this. This trick helps you showcase three pictures and their details. Let us say I want to showcase details about these three landmarks. First, I want to talk about pyramids. Then I can click on pyramids. A hand comes and unfurls the image of pyramids and the explanation is shown. Once I'm done talking about this, if I want to talk about Eiffel Tower, I can click on Eiffel Tower. A hand comes and unfurls the image with its explanation. Finally, when I click on Taj Mahal, Taj Mahal's photo and the explanation is shown. Let us learn how to create the stunning picture showcase with interactive custom animation from scratch. Here I am on a new slide with title. The first thing I'm going to do is to create one prototype that helps me showcase one picture and its explanation. And all I need to do is to make two more copies to complete the slide. The first thing I need for this is a collection of images that I will use for showcase. I have already downloaded a few images and I have cropped them into a square shape. In case you don't know how to crop a picture into a square shape, all you need to do is to insert the picture, click on the picture, then go to picture format, go to crop tool, click on the drop down menu, go to aspect ratio and say one is to one and that will crop your image into a square shape. So that is the technique I used to create these three square images representing three different landmarks. First, let us create a square shape by going to auto shapes gallery. From rectangles, let us pick up the rectangle tool, hold the shift button down and draw a square like so. Make sure that this is of the right size so that you can write your explanation underneath. The next thing I'm going to do is to fill this square shape with the image we have already downloaded and cropped into square shape. So let me click on Taj Mahal, right click and cut. Now Taj Mahal is in the clipboard of this computer. Then let us go here, right click, go to format shape, go to fill, choose picture or texture fill, picture source and click on clipboard. Since I had already cut the image of Taj Mahal, since it is already there in clipboard, when I click on clipboard, the image in the clipboard gets called and this is how the square gets filled with the image of Taj Mahal. Now let us close this. We don't really need an outline for this. So let us go to shape outline and say no outline. The next step is to create two frames, one above and one below the image. Let me go to auto shapes gallery again, pick up the rectangle tool and let us draw a frame like this, which is nothing but a simple rectangle. Go to shape outline, no outline. The first one I'm going to have in black color. To create a duplicate for the bottom frame, I'm going to hold the control button down while I click and drag this frame and move it to the desired position and use my down arrow so that I can place it exactly the way I want. Now this is perfect. Now I can fill this with any color I want. Let me select this and choose a dark blue color. And right inside this, you can write the caption for the image you're about to showcase. I'm going to write Taj Mahal. Of course, you can make it bolder and use a different font. Like in this case, I'm going to use two sen empty condensed extra bold and increase the size. Now that looks perfect. The next step is to ensure that all three objects are aligned properly. So I'm going to click and drag my cursor across and then use arrange, align and say align center. So it is perfectly aligned. The next step is to create a group. I'm going to click on the image, hold the shift button down and click on the caption and then press control G. So now we have a group of the image and its caption. Now I'm going to right click and send this to back. Now I'm going to use the up arrow key on my keyboard so that I can move the group so that the bottom frame touches the top frame. The next step is to create a mask that will cover this image. So let me go to auto shapes gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and this rectangle tool is drawn from one end to another 
and I'm going to fill this with the color of the slide background, which is white in this case. So let us go to shape outline, no outline, shape fill and say white fill. Now we have created a mask and we already have the title of the slide. So I'm going to click and drag across so I can select the title, right click and bring it to front. Now all that the audience would see when I showcase this right now is this. The next step is to insert hand icon. Let me go to insert, go to icons and let me select hand. So here I'm searching for hand and I've got quite a few options here. And the one that I want is this one. I'm going to check this and say insert. Let me rotate this using the rotation handle and I'm going to place this in such a way that it touches the top right corner of the caption. Excellent. Next, I'm going to write my explanation about Taj Mahal. Let me use the text box tool and say this is the explanation of Taj Mahal. Let me increase the font size and fold it in such a way that it snugly fits under the caption. If you want, you can even increase the size like this and have it centrally aligned. Make sure that this is smack in the center of the image and the caption. Can you see here? We have a smart guide that tells us that this is the right position. Now we have got all the setup in place. It is time for us to create the animation and interaction. The first thing we need is to bring the hand icon to the scene. So I'm going to select this. Let us open the animation pane. Let us give it a simple float in animation so that it enters the scene quite nicely and gently. We can reduce the duration to 0.5 seconds. The next step is it unfurls the image. So we are going to have the group and the hand icon selected and I'm going to add custom animation. Since I already have animation on this one, we need to add another animation. So let us go to add animation. Let us use motion path animation lines and the default direction is to the bottom and you can see that the distance to which it travels is not adequate. So what do we do? Let us click on the red arrowhead and that shows the ghost of the image. Now let us hold the shift button down as we click and drag this red dot so that we are able to take the group to its desired place which is right below the black frame that you see here. So that is exactly the right place. Wonderful. Now you can see that the explanation is way too close. So we are going to make a little bit of an adjustment by moving this a bit down so that there is a bit of space between the caption and its explanation. The next step is to ensure that the hand moves exactly to the same distance as the image. So how do we achieve that? Let us use a simple trick. Let us go to home, use line tool. From the beginning of the green arrow till the end of the red arrow, we are going to draw a line. So I'm going to hold the shift button down as I draw a line like this. And then let us increase the size maybe to around three points and let us give it a distinctive color, maybe this bright red color. Now we know that this is the distance to which we need to move this. So I'm going to use this red line as a marker so that I can place this right at the start of the green arrow and I'm going to move this red arrow head so that it corresponds with the last position of the line here. Excellent. Now we don't need this line anymore so I'm going to delete it. Let us change the duration of this motion path animation to 0.5 seconds. And then this happens after previous. Next, we need to present the explanation for Taj Mahal. So let us click on the text box and use wipe animation from top. And this happens after previous. While this happens, we want this hand to exit the scene. So I'm going to select this hand icon, add animation. I'm going to use exit animation. And the animation I'm going to use is a simple float out animation. And this is going to be of 0.5 seconds duration and this happens with previous. That is, while the explanation is wiping out, we will have the hand leave the scene. So there are five animation events here. The first one is where the hand floats into the scene. Second, we will have the image and the hand moving down. And then the explanation is shown and then we have the hand leaving the scene. So these are the five animation events. If I go to slideshow, the way the whole animation plays is like this. If you think that the unfurling is happening way too fast, you can always go here and increase the duration to around one second. It is completely up to you so that everything is shown quite nicely like this. The next step is to make this interactive. So let us select the group here and give the group a name. So let us go to home, 
go to select in the editing group and go to selection pane in selection pane here you have group 7 selected that is not a very intuitive name so I'm going to select this and call it Taj Mahal that is very memorable now we are going to create an interactive trigger let me close the selection pane let us take the first animation which is the hand entering the scene go to the drop down menu here and click on effect options and let us go to timing and here in triggers let us go to start effect on click off and here we have Taj Mahal shown and let us say OK now this animation plays only on the click of Taj Mahal then let us hold the shift button down and select all these animation events and let us click and drag this so that they all come under the first animation event which is a triggered event now when I go to slideshow I can click on this and then the animation event plays now once I have one prototype created I can make two more copies I can select everything here press ctrl D and then move this in such a way that it is right next to the earlier one and this time I'm going to change the image of Taj Mahal with Eiffel Tower so let me go to the Eiffel Tower image right click and cut this go back here click on the Taj Mahal image on the first click you have the entire group selected on the second click you select only Taj Mahal right click go to format picture go to fill and say picture or texture fill picture source is clipboard now we have Eiffel Tower here I'm going to change the caption to Eiffel Tower and let us change the color of this shape as well let us use dark orange color and we have the explanation as Eiffel Tower and then we need to bring the mask and the title to the front so I'm going to right click and say bring to front and we need to have this icon coming to the front as well so let me right click and say bring to front now we have created our second one as well and for good order sake let us rename this group as Eiffel Tower let us go to home go to select and say selection pane and this is called Taj Mahal actually this is Eiffel Tower now when I go to slideshow mode I can click on Eiffel Tower and Eiffel Tower is unfurled and the explanation is shown if I click on Taj Mahal Taj Mahal is unfurled and the explanation is shown of course I can make one more copy of this and showcase pyramids so that is how you create interactive custom animation to showcase pictures so did you like the tutorial if you did then you will love our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint mastery program this is arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program available online now that you have a substantial discount on the lifetime subscription of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint mastery program it's a wonderful opportunity for you to step up your PowerPoint game the link to this page is available in the description box below the video please click on the link and take advantage of this lockdown discount opportunity finally as always if you want to sign up for our 25 creative ideas free mini training you can click on the link here if you like this video please give it a like and hit the subscribe button so you can join our 100,000 other subscribers who are already taking their PowerPoint skills to the next level by watching our videos and to watch our latest YouTube video you can click on the link here so please click on this link and join our 25 creative ideas free mini training and don't forget to check out our new reduced price of lifetime subscription of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint mastery program which is available in the description box below this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.